Hey guys, this is Sean Sloan, and welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying. Gotta be kidding. Wait. Okay, I guess... You gotta be kidding. My goodness, she really said that? Yeah, and she was all like... Well, what the hell is that? Flash of light raced through the kitchen, sending the girls into a frenzy. What the hell is that? Coming through, sorry. Yui practically bulldozed through the other girls in the kitchen. What's going on? Take it back. Bum Bum Bun is a bad boy. He just seemed so well behaved, I thought I'd let him go outside again and... Bum Bum Bun effortlessly swerved past Yui under violent and leapt on the alley. What? Bum Bum Bun somehow made his way up to her head and took a cap in his mouth. Hey, give that back! Bum Bum Bun seemed to sneer at Ali, then leapt away and ran off. Get back here! Ali started chasing Bum Bum Bun with all she had, but somehow he always stayed one step ahead of her. This looks like a job for me. I'm gonna need a Venus flytrap and a few bottles of... Bum Bum Bun leapt on a scarlet. Ah, get it off! It's quite humorous that a mere bunny has eluded you all for this long. Think you can catch it? Why, of course. Watch him master it. Bum Bum Bun leapt onto Violet's face. Ah, get this foul creature off of me. Bum Bum Bun sneered with contempt. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Uh, someone do something. At that moment, I realized that Tara was recording Violet's struggles. I'm helping in just a second. Bum Bum Bun leapt off of Violet onto the kitchen floor and ran out. Give me my cat back. I do suppose a nice rabbit stew is on for lunch today. Jesus. Uh, I guess I should help too. You up to help, Sean? I don't see why not. Time for round two. Now quick, before he gets too far. I'm right behind you. We spent the rest of the morning trying to catch Bum Bum Bun. Emphasis on trying. That bunny is on something. I'm calling it now. Finally managed to catch him by baiting him with some food Violet reluctantly made, and even then he didn't make it easy. Let's hope the rest of the day is a little more relaxed. Uh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. Ugh. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. Still had to edit out our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. She was very, very drunk when she just did just that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly, you're still alive, Sean, so it's all good. Believe me, you'd drink too if you worked here. Just look at the Brothers Five. Working at Futuristic Evil Corp has to come with some benefits, right? You think, but we still have to pay for dental out of pocket. <clears throat> Before I forget what this show's all about, today's the day you go on a date with. Who's your other soulmate candidate again? Tara. How much did you drink last night, cat? Whatever, I knew that. Just testing you, duh. Right. Alright, let's get the second day with Tara started. Whoa, someone tell the world to stop spinning like a little bitch. I'm pretty much fucked, huh? Yeah, seems... Seems like it. I knocked on the door to the games room. Hey, Sean, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on then. Tara handed me your game device. Not all the art's ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. It's a farming game. I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, finding out it was already done. That's really a shame. The whole world, really. <laughs> Is it? But in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and... Decimate all the invaders with their giant mecha pigeon death machine. <laughs> and there's one million possible weapon combinations, and... That sounds... cool. Oh, that sounds cool. I'd love to play it. Curious, how come you decided to make a farming game? Um, good question. They've just got a special place in my heart. I used to just play, play these morning till night every day. You can probably tell I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyway, but whatever. Sometimes it's more fun to just do your own thing. 
Uh, it's your choice on how you spend your time. I agree with this. Sometimes it can be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. Enough talk, try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. Alright, here we go. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. Oh, okay. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in the mecha corpse and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season I'd learn to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine, she'd watch my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The mecha parts of the game felt incredible. You'd even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that was a bit weird. First, wow. What, what you have so far is incredible, Tara. You think so? Yeah, really. It's incredible. Never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but she did it just fine. And also, she did it in a day, apparently. Thanks, Sean. That's nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. Ah, I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. And to be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. It's not too much to ask. Her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends? I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. Sorry, what? Anyway, watching you play the game gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. We both suggest ideas, she'd implement it, and we'd test it together and repeat. Just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and in awe of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. Yeah, cause... You know... Death. I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. Oh, hey Sean, I was just about to go up to check in on you. Hey there, cat, what's up? Huh? There were some fancy desserts here from last week, but I can't find them anymore. Guess I'll take that out of the Brothers Five's paychecks. How do you know it was them? They're like clockwork. <laughs> Allie looked like a deer in the headlights on the other end of the kitchen. Cat hadn't seen her yet. She made direct eye contact with me, then hightailed it out. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Tara today go? Um, it was pretty good. It was great, I have to admit. Tara's very different from my initial impression of her. I feel like I'm seeing the real her now, and I like that. I like the sound of that. Who would have thought you'd say something like this after your rather unique first date, huh? Life sure has a sense of humor. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day, thanks to the ongoing rivalry, rivalry between you and Tara. The stakes are rising and so are our precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time for phase three. You've only got one date left with each of them before the final day. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. we Will do. Alright, good. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. You better rest up for tomorrow. You only get one first third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, Cat. See you later, son. Good night, Cat. And thanks for the help. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut eye. Alright, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. So did the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. It's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe you should have been a little more stupid. A little sooner. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest. Come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay, I can see the pier now. And the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. 
She always put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We're gonna make it, right? Of course. Both just a little further and no one's on our tail. I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally... Finally gonna leave, Sean. About time, if you ask me. I've dreamt of this moment every day since. Every day since who knows how long we've been trapped here by now. I never thought I could escape till I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. Find any other sane person, they would have told you the same things. The same people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you, though. She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Okay, so... I have no clue who this could be. It, if it's any of the candidates, I would assume it's either Ali or Yui. But... If it's not any of the candidates, I would have to guess, uh, Cat. So this is possibly Cat, but I don't know, because... She talks about... She doesn't talk about, like, love or anything. She seems to, like, not really care about that, so it's kind of, kind of would be a hard thing to just assume. But, or it could be a completely different person we haven't met yet, so, I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to matters at hand. We both know that this is where the rubble, rubber meets the road. Yeah. Now it's just a mad dash to the finish. Ready to run? No. I'm kidding, let's go. That favorite sound of mine once more. Hope it's not the last time I hear it. Episode 5, Dark Times the Charm. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing out Terra's game together. It was multiplayer now, so we could all play together in the same world. This came with its own fair share of consequences. I said cover me or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. I'm trying, I'm trying. There's too many mutant vegetables attacking. Yui, I need you to cover me. Where are you? I'm sorry, it's the mayor's birthday and I can't decide which berry to give him. It can, it can wait. But then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need, do you need any violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted for them to test the relationships, but maybe that'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see you next time? Yeah, next time. I can't wait. I spent the rest of the morning playing Terra's game. Morning, Sean. Time sure flies, huh? Show's almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's going to have any less headaches, though. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I didn't mention that other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you go on your first date, third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? Okay, I don't know, because I like Yui, but also Terra seems chill in the- I don't know. Um, I like both of them, but it's just like a- more of a thing of story-wise, who do I think would be the better option? I'm gonna go with Yui. Yui. Moment's finally here. Final date with the best girl. Remember, if you mess this up, there's an army of people out there waiting to take your place. Not planning on it, Cat. You didn't plan to lose your memories and end up on an insane TV show either, but look how that turned out. Life sure is funny, huh? You're telling me, life's never what you'd expect. Having a life with Yui, you'd be the luckiest person alive. I'm not saying that because I've got money on you picking her. You promise? Let's get those cameras rolling, people. Okay, well... I could see Yui from my room's window, walking around the front of the mansion. It looked like she was looking for something. I practically jumped down the stairs and ran outside to see her. Hey there, Sean. So hurry. You look like you're in quite the rush. 
Just wanted to see you a little earlier. Gosh, that's really sweet of you. I've been meaning to see you too. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of thinking since you helped me get Bun Bun Bun. Oh, uh, how's the big bee doing? Uh, come to think of it, that's why I came out here. I ran out here in a hurry and I was trying to catch up. Though this has already happened a few times and each time he somehow ends up back in my room. I'm sure he's fine. I wouldn't be worried. I just can't help myself, you know. You're a really sweet person, Yui. I love that about you. You are too, Sean. Do you have time today to hang out? Something I'd like to do with you. Of course I do, for you. Even if it's a little boring? I'm sure it can't be that boring if it's with you, you know. Whatever it is, I'm down. Okay, here we go. So we walk together to the beach. Okay, so. Possibly is her. And sort of finish fishing side by side. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no, this is the life. I have to admit, this wasn't what I expected. This was by far the best way to pass the time out in the countryside. To be honest, I'm not much for crazy activities like skydiving or shopping trips. I'd rather just spend my days quietly with the person I love, talking from dusk till dawn. Just enjoying each other's company, you know? That's the best. Is, is this okay with you? Of course it is, Yui. Getting the chance to learn more about you, to try the things you like, that's where the real fun is. I'd also much prefer that to doing crazy things all the time, too. Though I do think shopping trips aren't really in the same category as the skydiving. I, yeah. They are when you live deep in the country. I guess that's true. Hey, you up for a little contest? Sure, let's do it. What is it? Wanna see if you can catch more fish? Uh, what? You're on. Apparently, I'd fanned the flames of Yui's competitive spirit. For the next few hours, we kept on at it while we enjoyed each other's conversation and company. Yui was a natural. She was catching fish left and right. Each time she caught one, she led it back into the ocean, and each time I wondered when my first one would bite. I never ended up catching a single one. But that didn't matter. What did was that we were having a ball. Thanks for indulging me, Sean. Hey, I had a lot of fun too, Yui. Don't worry about it. You don't have to lie. I know I'm not like the other girls. I grew up with nothing and it shows in how I spend my time, what I wear, everything. I love you so much, you know. If I had you, I'd give you all the love in my heart. Every moment of every day. Okay, we've known each other for like three days now. Come on. Uh, I really would li live for love. That's what I've always wanted. But I know I could never give you all the things everyone else could. The money, the acclaim, the etc. Five days, I think. Not three. And I find myself worrying. What if you picked me and the second we leave this island? You realize that I can't give you the life you deserve and you start to hate me. I don't know what I'd do if it came to that. So before it comes to that, I want to ask you. Would just me be enough? Yeah. Of course you'd be enough, Yui. I don't need to be in the spotlight. I don't need to be rich. More than all that, I want you. And just you. I've waited so long to hear you say that. She pulled me close and kissed me. I love you so much. I always have and I always will. I'll always put our happiness first. I'll make you so happy every day. I'll do the same, I promise. Pinch me. I must be dreaming. <laughs> this is as real as it gets, Yui. Here on out, it's just gonna be me and you. I, I just can't hold myself back anymore, Sean. She pushed me onto the warm sand of the beach and... Okay, whoa, slow down there. Yui? Uh... She kissed me once more, her hands wrapped around me as the mind pulled her closer. Let's make up for lost time, Sean. Okay. What happened next was imagination come to life. I lost all track of time in the outside world. Only Yui mattered. I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. After today's date with Yui, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I'd need to put on more. I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why is that? Just a gut feeling. 
and the island-wide surveillance system. Fair enough. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Can't believe the show's almost over. Didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? We've only got the last third date with Tara tomorrow, then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how's your date with Yui today? Yui is the most wonderful woman in the whole world. Somehow she can take the most normal things and turn them into irreplaceable memories. More than anything, I just want to make more memories with her, every day. Make her happier than anyone's ever been. Jeez, we're gonna have to edit that to stop people from throwing up. I get it though. You and my friend are luckier than anyone has any right to be. Better pack your bags. I've got a feeling you'll be heading to the countryside soon. Who knew that three dates were all you need to figure out if a marriage would last? This TV gig, gig doesn't work out. Maybe I should become a marriage counselor. Hmm. Anyway, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get some work done tonight for prep to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company. It's not like you were up to anything. Chat rushed her hand out to me. I put my hand in hers on instinct. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her to... The library? Now you're probably wondering, why did I bring you here of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons, so here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight in regular books. You need to know how to decipher them, though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting. I'm also a little unnecessary. Who here is going to read a book? Oh, I knew the state of education was bad, but not this bad. Still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need to reference. So, you want me to grab your books for you so you can just stay here. I'm so glad you understand. You know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive, and it's just a teeny tiny favor. Couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Sure, cat. It's the least I can do. Great. Alright, to start, I need to grab me the Princess of, of Avaranda, 100 easy recipes for a Philosopher's Stone, and... I regret everything. This must be the 100th bath for books I had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed the system should be shot. I tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they just seem like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Sean. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it as more of unpaid charity work. Got one last day tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out what my life was before? Who knows? It's as good a start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night, Sean. See ya, cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. For one saving grace, the ship wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it. And there's no time to fix it. That's... That's it, then? I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Sean. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. Okay. Well. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching. And... I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Peace.